Hey, what is going on guys? Sabretooth here, and today we are going to be talking all about jack-o'-lantern. So, I did make a video like this for the pumpkins. I released pretty much all the rewards, and you guys absolutely love that video, and I've been getting just as many questions, if not more, about what are inside of these jack-o'-lanterns. So today, I'm going to share with you guys all the leaks that I know for these jack-o'-lantern rewards, as well as how you guys can get some of the best rewards by getting one of every single type of of these jack lanterns now if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button real quick and smash that like button we just hit 38,000 subscribers the other night so thank you guys so much for that i'm really close to 40k so hopefully we can get to 40k within maybe a week or so that would be absolutely amazing now i did live stream on friday night it's not public right now i could make it public if you guys want to go and watch that i suppose let me know if you want to see that and i didn't do a video yesterday Everybody's been doing, you know, gameplay with these massive players, and I'm sure you guys already know exactly what those is, so those are, rather, so I don't really feel the need to do that. I just wanted to release this video because I've been getting so many questions, and I thought it might help a lot of people out. So you guys know Jack Lanterns, they're auctionable, and they're pretty much going for around, I'd say, I don't know, 50, 60,000 coins. The best time, I think, to buy these are probably right when the daily goals reset. So that's either 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. rather Eastern time, 11 p.m. Central, etc., etc. Convert that tier time zone. When all the daily goals reset for people, that's when there's the most of these on the auction block because people grind out their dailies right away, get themselves a jack lantern, post it up on the auction block, and then there's just a ton of them on the block. So this is how you're gonna look them up. You can just go gold, most feared collectibles under let's just say 60,000 coins I think they go for a little less than this yeah definitely less than this but the prices for these were way higher when they first came out and now they've dropped down because some of the rewards honestly aren't that good but if you guys want to snipe these you can try sniping them for under maybe I don't know 20,000 coins and you can make a decent bit of profit off of that they are tough to get keep that in mind but let's jump into the rewards and then we'll talk about some other stuff so the first reward is going to be one rising stars contract so that's not really too good if you get that one i'd say that's probably one of the worst ones it gets you one tenth of a way to one of these elite players but really i mean if you paid 40 50 000 coins for that you're going to be pretty disappointed i'd say the next one is almost equally as bad and that's going to be 10 monsters of the midway collectibles so that's going to get you halfway to a gold player but halfway to a gold player is probably worth only around i'd say 15 000 coins so if you spent 40k on that, you're going to be out of luck on that as well. The next one, 25, pretty much random silver locker items. That one, not too crazy. The next one, 5 nightmare collectibles. So this one is pretty much similar to the midway monster. It's going to get you halfway. So probably worth around, realistically, 15,000 coins. The next one is going to be 1 gold power line or team of the week player. So I think this was a possible reward before. And this is a decent reward, especially if you pull a power line player. Because those, at minimum, can go for about 50,000 coins. If you pull a Team of the Week player, that's not horrible, depending on which one you get. You can either put it into these Captain sets, or go ahead and auction them off. All Gold Team of the Week players, depending on you pull, can usually go for around 10,000 coins at minimum. The next one is going to be a Showdown Badge, so that one's not too crazy as well. Obviously, you guys know you can get Showdown Badges from doing the live events the 24-7 live events, and on game days, you can get a bunch of showdown badges. The next one is a showstopper shard. So this is almost, it's almost worthless, but if you guys are trying to grind out showstoppers, I suppose it's decent. But the problem with showstoppers is you just need so many of the collectibles to actually get a player. I only have seven. I kind of stopped doing the events as well. But you guys might be a little farther than me to getting a showstopper. Maybe by the end of the season, you can end up getting 100. But it's just so many collectibles, it's almost unrealistic. Next one is a Most Feared Legend collectible. And that's pretty good as well. On the market, I believe those are valued at maybe around, I'd say, 300,000 coins. Let's go take a look. These, unfortunately, are unauctionable, the ones that you're going to get from the Jack Lanterns. They're not going to be auctionable. That's what they were last time. But you're still saving a decent bit of coins. Not sure why it's not showing up any Most Feared Elite collectibles. I guess we can just try legend collectibles and i'll just type in most feared these if you're planning on going for a legend will save you a decent bit of coins most feared legend collectibles going for just around 400 maybe 350,000 coins but nevertheless if you pull one of those and you're going for a legend that's not too bad that's 350k right there 
Next one is going to be one random gold most feared player. So that's pretty standard, pretty straight up. Not sure if it's auctionable or not. I can't remember. I think it is unauctionable. But nevertheless, if you guys are going for some of these players, that should be somewhat helpful, but is probably not worth it's a, it'll be close to being worth the 40k you spent on your jack lantern, but not exactly that. The next one, between 10 and 50 gold coaches or locker items. So pretty much you can get a 50-50 shot, whether you're getting around 30 locker items or 30 coaches gold. That's not too bad if you think about it. Let's go over here and it takes, I think, I'm not sure how many collectibles it takes to upgrade one of these coaches, but honestly, that's not too bad at all. Let's go to our locker room. If we're upgrading a coach, Dan Quinn, to get to level 5, you need 20 of them, so I could get him almost up to level 6. So really, that's not too bad, especially if you can choose which one you want. That's not too bad of a reward at all. I don't know if it's worth the 40 to 50k, but that's not too horrible. And the last one that's known for sure is 3 Legend Collectibles, so that's decent as well. Probably worth around, similar to the most feared Elite uh, Legend Collectible, probably around 300 350,000 coins so those are the rewards that are for sure now there are some that are pretty much confirmed but not a hundred percent positive one of them is going to be a most feared elite player most likely random that one's pretty good you guys know valued at around 1.5 to 2 million coins no matter who you pull and finally two which are hopefully the two best i know a lot of people pulled uh, most feared signature players from the pumpkins so i believe that these are going to be possible rewards again so if you pull those you're going to be doing really well for yourselves because these most feared signature players go for quite a decent bit of coins let's look under i don't know 2.5 mil you'll probably see some of them but if you can pull some of the better ones you even have a shot at that and Domicon sue imagine pulling that that's going to be very very solid from a pumpkin even if you pull the TJ Ward, I mean 2.5 mil, not too shabby. And the last one, no idea what it might be, but it could be something crazy. So all these are provided from Bouncer over on Mutthead. People wanted to know. Link in the description if you guys want to look for yourselves. And these are pretty much 100% legit. I got them spot on last time. So if you guys want to look for yourselves, now I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can get one of every single one of these Jack Lanterns. So first... Let's talk about the prices. So the Jack Lanterns are going to go for no more than 100k because of the price cap. So I'll show you what I mean right now. Most feared items, and I think this will work. Yeah, so Jack Lanterns, let's look at prices and we'll go 125,000 coins. At maximum, you can only buy a Jack Lantern for 100,000 coins because of the price caps. Take a look, when I try to buy a Jack Lantern for 125k, it cannot be processed because they did put a 100,000 coin cap on these so if you're looking for some of the rare ones and they're posted up over 100k you're out of luck because you can't buy them now there are differences in these jack-o'-lanterns you can't see them in the art you can't see them on the back of the card but the way you can tell is by going to your bench and checking out your most feared items so let's go take a look right now most feared typed it in with a five most feared and you guys can see they are all listed differently on my bench so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven different types of jack lanterns right now and i assume the three that i don't have are the three rare ones so probably the elite most feared player probably the signature player and one random one that we don't know so i am still on the hunt for those last three now i'm probably going to do a big jack lantern opening when these do open up so if you guys are interested in that make sure to hit that like button but let's, let's go ahead and see how we can find the ones that we don't have yet. So we're going to look under 100,000 coins. 100,000 coins or less because you can buy them for 100,000 coins. And all you have to do, click on the Jack Lantern and see how many you own. You guys see in the red box up in the top right, it says I own two of these. So clearly that's one that I already have. I own four. I own four as well. And the way you're going to find the rare ones is every single round when the sniping hits, you got to scroll all the way to the back. It's a lot of scrolling. But if you scroll all the way to the back near the four hour mark and just check every single jack lantern that pops up, eventually you'll find the ones that you don't have. Now, I've gone through so many jack lanterns and I've really not found the ones I need to. I'll keep grinding these out because hopefully I'll be able to get all of them for you guys. But this is the strategy. I really haven't seen too many people show you how to do this. So if you're looking for all the jack lanterns, this is the way you got to do it. 100k and less. Scroll to the four hour mark and see if you can find one. And we're going to do it right here. See if we can find any new ones. 
and then we'll call it an episode. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. It's going to take me a decent bit to scroll to the end. So once I do, I'll, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. So here we go. We're near the four hour mark and we're just going to start looking for ones that I don't own yet. And as soon as you find one, you're going to want to buy it right away because if you guys have 11 out of the 14, these are probably going to be the 11 most common. Even if you guys have only maybe a million or two million coins, you can still probably afford to stock up on at least one of all the most common ones. And the reason you want to do that is so you guys can tell the difference between the common ones and the rare ones. Once you do that and you guys know that no matter which ones you don't have, they're all going to be rare. Even if you have maybe only 300,000 coins left and you pick up one of these rare jack lanterns, the reward is most likely going to be worth way more than you paid for it. So it's definitely a good investment in buying these rare jack lanterns. Now, I have had real trouble finding the last three that I need. So I'm going to keep doing this throughout the rest of the day and just searching through all these jack lanterns until I find the rare ones that I need. But otherwise, I think this is really the only method you can do it. But think about this, guys. If you buy some of the rare ones, even if it's for max price, 100,000 coins, and it turns out to be a most feared signature player, at minimum, those signature players are going to sell for two 1.5 to 2 million coins even if you pull tj ward literally the worst possible one he's gonna still sell for at least 1.5 or 2 million right away so if you guys want to wait turn your 100k into 1.5 mil this is definitely a strategy you're gonna want to try out now as you guys can see i've owned pretty much every single jack lantern i've searched through and this is the tedious part just searching through every single one because nobody knows which ones are the rare ones unless you're doing this strategy. Now it's going to take a while and it's probably going to piss you off looking through all these. But eventually when you finally find that one that says you don't own it and you buy it, that's going to be such a good feeling guys. I have owned four, two or one of pretty much all of these so far. I have yet to see a new one and I doubt I will honestly just scrolling through here. If I did, that would be amazing, but hopefully you guys can find some of the rare ones, open them up, and make some absolute bang for yourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and hit that like button, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay hungry, stay humble, buy some of these jack-o'-lanterns, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Peace, guys.